and you're eating my hair. Stop it. Thank you. All right, hello everybody. Welcome back. Today's video is going to be like my breastfeeding tips and tricks. Um, what I've learned throughout the five months of breastfeeding her. I'm a first time mom, so I didn't know diddly squat when I started. Breastfeeding is hard. <laughs> it's very hard and um, I feel like I've learned a lot and you know somebody out there may find some help with this. When the baby is first born it is best to have them latch and nurse right away. Um, I didn't even know how to get her to latch. The nurse had to help me out and the nurses in the labor and delivery unit are super sweet. They know you've just been through a lot as far as delivering your baby. They help you out and uh, as soon as Olivia was born, she nursed. The first milk that comes out is called colostrum. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. I'm not quite sure. Um, and it's very little. Um, it's like a gold, actually. It's supposed to be full of a lot of um, nutrients as far as vitamins, minerals, and a lot of antibodies, too. So it's like your baby's first um, defense for its immunity. While I was in the hospital, I breastfed her on demand. It was like every one and a half hours. Like she is greedy, um, and she has continued to be greedy. But we'll get to that. Around the third day, my milk came in, and it was like the most painful experience ever. Like everyone's like, "How do you know when your milk's gonna come in?" You'll know. Just like you'll know when you're in labor, you're gonna know when your milk comes in. Anyways, so from the point where my milk came in up till now, um, it's been a quite a learning experience, you know, I've gone through um, like two bouts of mastitis, I've had clogged ducts, her latch thankfully was very good, like we didn't have problems with her latching. Breastfeeding is um, a learning experience, so you know, despite how prepared you think you are, <laughs> you know nothing until the baby is here. So between the mastitis and the clogged ducts, um, I don't want to scare anyone who is thinking about breastfeeding. But, you know, know that it is a lot of work. It is like a full-time job. Well, it is a lot of work, it's so much very rewarding as far as the bonding that you're able to do with your baby. The first tip I have to anyone who wants to start breastfeeding when they have their baby or is currently breastfeeding is while you're sleeping and breastfeeding. Now, Olivia's sleeping in her crib now and I bring her into the bed around like four in the morning when she wakes up for her first feed and she stays in the bed until me, with me until we wake up around eight. But during that time, it is so much easier to lay down and breastfeed instead of sitting up, propping yourself up with pillows and trying to feed your baby during the middle of the night. So if you're a new mom, you just gave birth and you are like struggling to you know wake up in the middle of the night and get in your nursing chair or on the recliner or wherever you are, just lay down. Lay the baby down next to you, lay on your side, and you literally don't even have to try to stay awake. Your baby's gonna nurse. It's okay if you doze off because you are both in a safe place. The second tip I have is like, if you can go braless, go braless. If you can get away with not wearing a bra, please do so. Um, when you wear a bra, it tightens the milk ducts and you, it, it, it increases your chance of getting a clogged duct because it's clogging all this right here and your milk if you guys didn't really know it goes all the way down here to your breast like you have milk ducts in your armpits and the third tip I have is trying to eat a nutritious diet now this is something that's kind of hard for me because I'm a snacker I just like to nibble and munch throughout the day it's very important when you're breastfeeding to eat a nutritious diet because you're not only feeding yourself you're feeding your baby too what I do I buy like tons of frozen vegetables <laughs> Um, like the medleys and whatever, the steam bags. I throw them in the microwave and that's what I will literally eat for lunch. I'll just have a bag of vegetables and I know that I'm at least getting my vegetable nutrients for the day and Olivia's getting hers as well. Also, continue taking your um, prenatal vitamins. Um, consult your doctor about this first, but I, my doctor told me as you're nursing, it's good to keep taking your prenatal vitamins so your baby can get all the vitamins. 
One thing to help milk supply, there's actually milk supply boosting foods. So one of them is oatmeal. So I try to eat a bowl of oatmeal every day. Normally it's in the morning. I just eat like plain Jane oatmeal. I try not to put too much sugar in it, just, you know, because it's not the best. The oatmeal loses its health factor <laughs> once all that sugar is added. I put a little bit of honey. Sometimes I put fruit in it. Sometimes I just eat it really plain. It's kind of gross, but it's worth it. Some other like milk supply rich foods, you have like lactation cookies, you have um, eggs, yogurt, um, I know avocados, you know, you can Google it and there are a lot of foods that you can eat that'll help boost your milk supply if you are suffering with a low milk supply. I think this is my fourth tip, I, <laughs> I lost count. Don't worry about whether your baby is getting enough as far as ounces are concerned. Like when you go to the pediatrician, your doctor is going to ask, how many ounces is the baby eating? Well, you don't know because that baby is just attached to you and you know that they are full. Like feed on demand. Don't look at the clock and say, um, so and so ate at five o'clock, so they're going to have to eat again at seven o'clock because that's two hours from now. No, feed them when they're hungry. And if they're hungry an hour later and you know they're only supposed to be eating supposed to be eating every two hours who cares because your baby is hungry feed your baby when you're hungry that way your milk supply won't suffer if you try to keep your baby to a strict routine set in your head then breastfeeding is going to suffer sometimes she went three hours sometimes she couldn't go more than 45 minutes it's really up to the baby you have to learn and listen to your baby's cue the fifth tip i have is to just the big one is really just don't worry about if your baby's eating enough. I know I used to stress, I would stress about if Olivia was gaining weight um, because that was like all dependent on me. If she's not gaining weight, that's my fault. That's how I felt. And by like her third month, I realized, you know, she's gaining weight, she's fine, she's full, you know, stop stressing so much because being a new mother is hard enough that you don't need this stressing you out. For anyone who is just um, a little bit leery about breastfeeding in public. Um, me and myself, I didn't have any problems with it. You know, I'm okay with whipping out the boob in public. Now, I'm not just gonna like unscoop it out of my shirt. I just like, I, I try to remain modest. Um, so the two shirt method works really well for me. So I just normally wear a cami underneath my shirt and I'm able to pull up my shirt and literally just have like my nipple out and she latches onto that so you can't even see the boob when she's done put your shirt back in and she's all done more importantly you know like don't be afraid to leave the house if you are breastfeeding and you are a little bit uncomfortable about doing it in public because let's be honest every mother has either done it tried to do it i mean they understand now you're going to get those people who give you looks but who cares you're feeding your baby your baby doesn't know to wait until you get home you don't know that do you you just know you're hungry and mommy's right here so i'm gonna feed you just being confident about it changes the way people will look at you if you look scared i feel like if you look um, uneasy then people are going to vibe off of that energy and react negatively you know I've been very confident and comfortable when I breastfeed her in public and I haven't gotten any um, rude remarks um, I had even one woman come up to me we were at the zoo and I was breastfeeding her walking down the zoo path and she was like you feed your baby woman it gave me a lot of confidence so that is you know something else that I feel a lot of people need to hear my final tip is um, try to surround yourself with people who can encourage you. I know this is hard for some people, single parents, single mom, um, if you don't have, if you're away from family, you don't have a lot of support, but if you can find at least one person who is able to support you through your breastfeeding journey, whether it be somebody who's already breastfed, your mom, you know, a sister, um, your husband, boyfriend. I had those days where I just wanted to quit breastfeeding because I felt so needed. Like my body was not mine. I've already gone through nine months of carrying Olivia and now to have her constantly attached to me, it was getting to me. But if you have that one person who tells you, you know, reminds you that this is what you wanted to do, you'll make it through. And you know, though I do have those days where sometimes I'm just like, oof, 
please, I want to be my own right now. Like, I don't want anyone touching me, needing me. I am so thankful that I was able to thrive with the opportunity of breastfeeding. I mean, it's the way we were created, you know, it, it's, it's only natural. I guess if I really had anything to say, just do what feels comfortable. So, uh, to end this video, I'm just going to show the cuteness of the baby. Say hi! Can you, can you look at the camera? Say hi! <laughs> She's teething really bad, you guys, so she always has her lips sucked in. But that's all I have to say. Um, I feel like this video was all over the place, but still, I think it has some really good content. I think it has some really, you know, good tips. And if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to check out all my other videos on my channel. Like it, subscribe, comment if you wish, and I will see you guys back with more. Thanks for watching.